launch day. Are you excited? Yep. yep. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what's been concocted. Yes. Yep. Yeah. SapphireEyesProductions.com Well, here we are. We made it. <laughs> It's been a huge work this one, so it's good to get to this point where we've actually got an audience to come and have a look at our work. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people about to enjoy a fantastic film. I think all teachers could identify the defining moments in their teaching career. And these moments shape our beliefs about teaching and learning, and they actually influence the way we operate as teachers. Or we sometimes we call them aha moments. Well, attending my first ever River Health Conference way back in the 90s, was such a moment for me, a real aha moment. I came away from that conference with the belief that all children should be involved in hands-on care of their local environment. And I was inspired by the many examples of this that were on show at that conference. Now the other defining moment, which continues to inspire me and excites me is the power of learning that is absolutely unleashed when we allow kids to teach other kids. And I want to pay tribute to Richard who's here and I'm delighted that he's here and Diane and their son Aaron for opening up to, for me the whole notion of kids teaching kids and showing me how important it is to involve kids in caring for their environment. Every River Health Conference has been inspirational and I've tried to go to every one of them since that first time. Working with a group of kids and these beautiful girls, we've got one girl missing who's involved with dance but she'll be here later. These, <laughs> not allowed to forget them, they'll always tell me. So working with beautiful children like this as they prepare for a, a conference and a presentation for Kids Teaching Kids continues to be one of my great joys. I love it. It's a teacher's dream to be involved in this sort of learning. I thank Jaya and Daniel for creating this documentary. I asked them just to film the presentation and it grew into a documentary and I really thank them for that because I think it's a wonderful thing that's happened. And I hope you enjoy it. And perhaps for some of you, it might be your defining moment. Um, I just wanted to say welcome and thank you for coming. It's been special to work with all these guys and um, I really got to know them better. With um, Maggie, I didn't really no Maggie, but now I know Maggie very well. <laughs> and also same with Michaela and Lucy. Lucy's one of the youngest in our group and um, we wouldn't have really got to know Lucy except for the River House Conference. It's been fun working with all these. Thanks. And she's a bit of a party animal, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm the producer of this little baby that you're about to watch. My name's Jay Sheila Drama. And I've been living with these kids for the last couple of weeks, although they haven't known that. <laughs> um, I was very privileged to be asked to, act at the drop of a hat, come and just do a bit of filming. And it sort of started like all documentaries do, with something tiny and ends up growing into something big. And let's just say I've lived in front of a computer for 20 hour days for seven days a week for about the last three months or two months, however long I've been working on this project, but that's what it takes to do film. I don't know if people really understand how much work goes into an edit process, but um, I want to thank Rosemary because she's been an absolute tower of strength and she's come in and we've had some lovely moments just sharing things about what the kids have learned. And these children are very important and as I 
worked with the footage, I knew we actually have something critical. It's not just important, it's actually critical. Because I'm not going to reveal, you'll find out in the film, but what you're about to see is quite shocking. And humans must wake up as a species. Um, it's very important. I think these children have their finger on the nail because when bees and frogs disappear, they're the bioindicators around the world of the health of our environment, and we're in trouble. So I think the documentary is more than just an environmental project. It also is a beautiful piece of gold on the process of education. It really shines. Uh, you'll see it towards the end. I have a, a couple of little, I guess, housework things that I need to explain. Um, we worked with two cameras. The first camera, w we were just given a camera and had never worked with it and it ended up being hell for me <laughs> in the end as an editor. It's one of those little flip cameras yes. in the classroom. Yeah, but it, was, uh, it looked new, but the technology inside of it was quite archaic and uh, let's just say my advanced software didn't like it very much and tended to spit the dummy here and there. So there are variations in the quality of the footage. Um, I ask that you be tolerant of that. We worked uh, like a lot of artists do. We just worked with the resources that we had available. We now have a beautiful professional camera, but we didn't have that when we were doing this project. So um, please bear with the variations of the footage throughout the um, project. It's not like we had millions of dollars. We did this on nothing. Literally, this was a labour of love. Um, I'm very proud to be able to present these children. I hope to goodness I haven't missed a render in this final piece of footage. I've been working night and day to get this finished, to get it done, and I was extremely tired when we were doing the last renders. I can only pray that it all goes beautifully. I'm very proud to present this project, and I'm extremely grateful to Daniel, who's been a tower of strength when I'm falling apart from the edit. And I'm extremely grateful to Paula, as well because Paula's input was vital to the credibility of this project and just making it solid. So it's a real, this project is many elements coming together. It's an environmental project definitely. It's a wake up call. It's a beautiful reflection of good teaching and allowing the, t the kids to get excited about what they're learning. And I think you'll see that. It's in two sections. The first half is the research and build up of getting ready and the second half is the presentation of their work. So I hope you enjoy this. I would like to bring Daniel forth. He's got just a few words to say. Um, and we do have DVDs here for sale, $10, uh, which is nominal. And I would love for everybody to make sure that they've given us your email. I promise you we only do it for projects and it's just that we can send you an email on the weekend to let you know that the website with the free to view um, link to this whole project, you'll be able to spread that link across to anybody you know and they can watch the project for free online. So um, it, please leave us your email. I don't spam, we just use it to promote our project because uh, I've done two projects free for two years and it's nice to know that people are actually watching our work after all this time. There's a website that goes behind this project and uh, we're uploading the YouTube clip at the moment so it'll be live on that website. The website is takeactionthinkfrogs.webs.com but we'll email that to you and it'll also be up on the Sapphire Ice Productions website. So just have a look through that. There's some research material and a few extra things and just enjoy, share it around. researching about frogs and river health and what is affecting the frogs around the world and particularly in their region in Victoria. I hope you enjoy this presentation. You know, it never, it never ceases to amaze me 
how willing these kids have been to work. So the students have to behave themselves and learn well and work together. So it's very um, cooperative. Yes. A lot of general activity from Oxford and they actually got the idea that frogs worldwide are in trouble. They found that out and then they wanted to find out about Australian frogs. Did you learn something? Yeah. Yes. Well, because when I sat here with these beautiful kids, I've lived with them for plus, they don't know that, but anyway I have. Mm -hmm. And what strikes me is that these kids have to have big shoulders. Because while we don't wake up, the frogs are dying, the bees are dying, our planet is dying. And this was such an indicator, this film. I hope you enjoyed it. We have them for sale here um, for $10, but it will be available online by the weekend for free. So if you haven't already, please put your name down on that email list, and we will contact you with a beautiful formatted email. Please send it out. Get it out there. We want as many people to learn because the frogs, like the bees, are our bioindicators, and we've lost a third of them. So it's, it's a pretty important project. Uh, that's what I found. Anyway, and also, uh, did you enjoy the educational process? Wasn't it fascinating? And to actually see kids thinking and discerning and making these decisions about what information to bring in. I thought it was quite fascinating. I think Rosemary's done an awesome job. And it's wonderful to hand them. But these people. These little guys, well done. The River Health Conference is such a powerful conference for children to attend. So, where is he? Where's Richard? That was the, first, that was the inspiration. So that sort of work is repeated over and over and over again at the River Health Conference. If it wasn't for that, I, I, we may not have been doing this sort of work. Can I just do one other thing? The River Health Conference started here in Madura in 1999. Really, part of it. Home. The only reason to move out of Madura is because we couldn't find a venue big enough to hold it. We don't have a convention centre. And building it down by the river bank every time was costing us too much money and, and the weather was just so iffy on those things. So. It would inevitably rain, wouldn't it? Well, we've had rivers running through the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> those mountains, once the wind gets up, they're <laughs> so um, I'll just let you know, these blue cards are Sapphire's Productions. If you want to grab one on the way out, that's the website to go to to get it for free online. But everybody that's given me an email, you'll get, you get an email. So just keep watch your inbox, maybe by Sunday night. But the cards. Georgia, me and unfortunately her mother texts me, she couldn't come, she's got dancers. Um, we just wanted to thank Mrs. Alec, Daniel, Jaya, Gabby, Trish, Paula, Mr. Lane, Brendan, <laughs> Marion, Diane, Mr. Guthrie. Yeah, Mr. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, we wouldn't have got to the River House Conference if it wasn't for all these people. Beautiful bus driver. Yeah, the nice bus driver. But um, we wanted to give Mrs. Ali a very big special thanks because we wouldn't have got to the River House Conference at all without Mrs. Ali. <laughs> <laughs> He's on track. <laughs> <laughs>